Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Jotty G and today I bring you a very random and different video. Um, as you can see, these uh, French doors are actually open. Um, and that is because the little one is right there and she is taking a nap. And that is like really random because that never happens. Like every time I'm trying to film, you'll probably see her waltzing back and forth and tapping in the glass door and needing help and I have to like it literally takes me two to three hours just to film one basic very simple kind of video because I'm a mommy and I need to tend to her as well um so I literally am sitting on the couch and I see her not moving and I'm like why is she not moving and when I lean forward she's like literally on the couch sitting with the iPad I started to laugh and then, as a parent, you start to think, you know, like, my phone's ringing. Anyway, so back to, there's a, why is there always a freaking mosquito? Back to what I was saying. So it's kind of like, you know, I don't know if every parent does this, but I know I do. Like, every time my daughter does something, I automatically kind of go back to, like, me being a child or, like, a little kid and just doing, like, the most randomest things. So clearly... I was not planning on filming, but seeing her fall asleep kind of got me thinking, you used to do some quirky things too, like what are some random or weird things or like experiences that you went through? You should actually film this, at least for myself I wanted to film this because I tell these stories that I crack the hell up. Because I'm like, you can't make this shit up, you know what I mean? So to start off with my stories, I am going to say, right, because I am a hot mess, like total hot mess. Um, you can see that I have a burgundy um, t-shirt, um, today was like a down day for me, and I have this cardigan on top, and there's a reason for that. So, um... I had a fight with a wine bottle before um, starting my filming and I'm gonna say it was a tie. I do have carpal tunnel and I don't have a lot of strength in my hands and I could not get that bottle open. I was having a hard time and then um, yeah the bottle splashed at me once I got it open. My shirt's all wet. I didn't feel like changing it so we're just gonna move right on. I thought about this situation today because I don't drink apple juice. I don't think I've had apple juice since I was probably like 9 or 10 years old and there was a reason behind that and my husband finds it to be so weird like he thinks I'm super weird that I can't drink apple juice and it's not the taste I'm just like traumatized so basically what happened was I want to say again I was like nine or ten years old and um I would always drink apple juice like apple like who doesn't just drink apple juice right so that was like my go-to uh, beverage and being a Latina, you know, Spanish people sometimes, and then again, this was me growing up, so it's not everyone, I'm assuming, I don't, I don't know. In my household, we would um, use the oil to, like, cook food, like a canola oil, vegetable oil, whatever, strain it, and then put it in a container and put it away. In this situation, they put it in, like, a plastic cup, I want to say it was either red or blue, but it was a plastic cup, and they put it in the fridge. I was looking for apple juice, and I could not find the bottle... But I found this cup. When I looked into it, I was like, oh, apple juice. I was an idiot. I was a kid. I didn't smell it. I didn't, I didn't even shake it to see, like, the consistency. Like, like really, I'm a kid, right? And I totally went right at it. Like, I just started sipping, like, mm. Turns out it was oil. <laughs> it wasn't apple juice. It was oil. And so it was, like, a weird sensation because I just, like, took a couple sips. But I didn't realize it until it was too late. And I literally had oil, like, dripping down my face. And I was like, no. No, no. Mm, no. And so, like, obviously I spit it out. I actually dumped the oil down the drain. And then ever since then, I cannot drink apple juice. I was very easily traumatized by that experience. This one's kind of weird, funny. I, I don't know. You tell me what you think down in the comments below. Um, so, growing up, as a kid, you know, kids in the summer, you're not going to school, you're having a good time, and you're like, you know what? I'm going to go and I'm going to be outside all the time. I'm going to be in my yard. I'm going to be running around. We're going to go to parks. We're going to do stuff. That's typical kids, you know, like th those are your typical children. And so it's funny because in my household growing up, I have three siblings, so it's four females. Growing up, we would see all the kids in the neighborhood go out. We would see my cousins who lived on the second floor while we lived on the first floor. We would see them go out. They would have a blast. But we were like homebodies and we loved being inside. Like we loved being indoors. And so the weird thing is that we would only want to come outside once the sun had gone away and so until so now it's nighttime it's like 8 30 and we're like on the porch having snacks telling stories 
trying to play, right? What child tries to go outside in the middle of the night? Obviously, we did have our mother there, so our mom was there just having a good time chilling with us. And, you know, growing up, our family would nickname us uh, vampires. So we're like, oh, well, you guys are vampires, you guys don't go outside, well, well why, why are you guys being vampires? It was just like, honestly, now as an adult, you can really think about it and be like, hmm, why was that? Why was it that we preferred to go out at night versus during the day? Because that is a vampire kind of antic, right? And so to come, like now come to think of it, we're homebodies, I'd rather be home than being outside looking for trouble. Um, you know, we all have very different personalities. And, you know, we enjoy being home, so there was nothing wrong with that. But it's funny because we were called vampires, and I'm sitting here like, Bitch, what you talking about? I love garlic. I put garlic on my pizza. I put garlic on my pasta. I put garlic on my bread. I put garlic on everything. If I could put garlic on cereal, I would, but I really don't think that's a really good combination. An extremely traumatizing situation for me was I was about, I want to say 13 years old, and, you know, um, Aunt Flo had come to visit, and I was kind of starting to get the hang of it after a year because I was having issues with Aunt Flo and her wanting to visit when she wanted to and then not visiting when it was scheduled. It was just a mess. And I remember that for my birthday, my aunt and my uncle with their kids, they were going to, uh, I want to say, what was it? It was Camel Beach. Um, I think that's in Pennsylvania, the Poconos, something like that. So, again, I was like 13 years old, and they were going, and my aunt calls downstairs and says, Hey, tell Jody to get ready. I'm going to take her with me. That's going to be her gift. We're going to be out all day. She won't be back till like, maybe tomorrow morning, whatever. So, at that point, my mom tells me, and even though I got excited, I was like, Mom, Aunt Flo is here. Like, I, I can't go. Aunt Flo is here. That being said, my mom's like, just put a tampon on. And for me, that was weird because as a 13-year-old girl who's a virgin, you know, us... Hispanics, the way I, in my family, we grew up is you use sanitary pads. Like, you use a pad, you don't use tampons because tampons is after you lose your virginity. You don't put anything up there unless you really need to. And so my mom was just like, just, it's fine, fine, fine. Just put it in there and just go have a good time. And so I did. Now, I was fine. I was a little uncomfortable because I wasn't used to anything being up there. So I was like, okay, fine, whatever. Okay. So, but... I always carried with a pad. Now, unfortunately, in my family, I guess we've had heavy flows because we only had, like, the really big suckers, right? Like, the really big pads and stuff. So I packed one of those. Um, I think it was, like, two of them that I packed. And we go off to Camel Beach. We're there, and I needed to go on a bathroom break with one of my cousins. So we go to the bathroom, and I had my bag. And I said, you know what? I'm not really comfortable with just having, like, this tampon thing on. So I'm going to put both because if that thing comes out and starts floating, I'm going to be embarrassed. So I said, okay, in order to avoid embarrassment, I am just going to like keep that in there, but I'm going to apply a pad. Now, the the type of bathing suits that I would have was always a two-piece, but the bottom was always short. So I go ahead, right, and I go to the bathroom. You do my little break situation. apply my little pad. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, and we go. We ended up going... <laughs> We ended up going to the wave pool, and I'm having a good time. You know, I'm having a good time. I'm 13. I'm flirting. I'm thinking I'm cute because there was all these boys there. We were having a good time. And then, um, now mind you, my pad is on this whole time. And my uncle says, you know what? We're, we have to go on, a, on a, like a break. We have to eat something. You know, it's been all water, water, water. I'm starving. So they called us all out and say, hey, let's go to the picnic table and let's go get some food. The kids are walking in front of... The adults. So my aunt and uncle are right behind us. And I go ahead. And I'm just like walking. But I'm coming out. Trying to be cute. And I fix my little shorts. And all I hear is my uncle say, Chiki. What, what the hell is that? And he's pointing over in my direction. So I looked back. And I'm like, what is he talking about? Maybe he's not talking about me. So I just kept trying to get out the pool. right? So then he goes, did she poop herself? So when I heard that, I was like, me? And I, I put my hands back there, like by my butt, to check what he's talking about. We were in a wave pool. And obviously the waves, the motion, everything, so stuff started moving. Not only your chest moves around in your bathing suit, but so does other things apparently. Because um, when I put my hand back here, and I'm like, what does he say poop? Like, what is he talking about? I felt a big ball, and I squeezed, and it was just all water. 
all water and that was disgusting now mind you in my defense i was 13 years old i was a child you know when you're a kid you don't know any better you just have you have ideas which you think are really good but they're not necessarily good ideas so i squeezed it and all this water came out and i was so embarrassed because i knew exactly what it was so the pad obviously the adhesive was on the bathing suit but basically with the water it kind of like swelled up and then rolled up somehow and it was just back there and it really totally looked like poop and i was just like super embarrassing and the fact that my uncle had to point it out didn't help the situation so that is it for my weirdest most embarrassing moment i hope you guys have enjoyed it i have a whole bunch more i can tell you because i'm 31 years old and a lot has happened in 31 years so if you like this video give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below if you want me to go ahead and do like a part two i'd be more than happy to do that let me know down below what your most embarrassing moment is i will be going through my comments just to review those and kind of communicate with you guys um so yeah don't forget to like and subscribe follow me on all my social medias which you will find in the description box below till next time thanks for watching guys see ya